Okay, I'm going to begin. So once again, welcome to the year four Meet the Teacher. Um, I'm Miss Anderson and I'm teaching class Russo. And then behind me, I have Miss Gilson and she's teaching class Akumbo. Akumbolo. Oh, if you have any questions, please leave them until after we finish the presentation and then I'll unmute you all and you can ask some questions. Okay, so in class Russo, I have Miss Khan and Miss Aruk. Oops. And then in Arkimboldo, we have Miss Gilson with Miss Karawetz. So our school day in Arkimboldo, if you have a look, there's an outline of the timetable. So we have English and maths every day. And on Monday, we have history and art, followed by PE geography in the afternoon on Tuesday. Wednesday, we have Spanish with music, PE and English and maths. And then on Thursday, we have English and maths with science and computing as well as English again. And then on Friday, we have class celebration with PSHE, RE, and then another science lesson. If you notice in the afternoon, we have a class novel from three o'clock until 3.15. As you all know, the school day begins at 8.15. The children come in, they're always ready to learn which is great. Then we have class Rue, so the timetable is, this, is similar. We have the same amount of lessons and we cover the same subjects. Hello, welcome, I've just added some more people. Welcome to you. Hold on, I'm just waiting for some Hiya. more. Oh, hello. Hold on a second. It says my internet is currently unstable. Just give me a minute. Come. One more person coming along. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Oh, hello. 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 Uh, yeah. Yeah. I am Farina Abkanar, mother. So who's mother? Sorina. Sorina. Okay, thank you. Sorina Kapkanare. Okay. Your daughter's in Akimbaldo? Yes? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay, I'm just going to mute everyone, um, just so that I can go through the PowerPoint. So just to recap. Just to recap, we have got, we're going through the class timetables. Um, we, cover, we have a broad range of subjects which we cover. So as well as English and maths, we have history, RE, Spanish, science, computing, accelerated reader, PE, and geography. Oops. So the class novel, which we're covering for 15 minutes a day at this point is clockwork. There are a few changes from last year. So this year we have PE, MFO, and music, which are taught by our specialists which means that the children have a, an in-depth knowledge of what they're being taught. Sorry, my slides are playing up. Okay. Um, we also are going to carry on with our reading focus. We have a lovely library that's been decorated. And every two weeks, the children spend an hour in the library where they are quizzed on the book that they've read and then they take a new book home. So today was the day when they came to the library they sat a quiz based on the book that they've read and then they swapped that book so they should have come home with a new book that they can read so they have two weeks to read that book and then on the thursday they will bring the book 
back to school so they can change it again. So please encourage your child to read the book and to make sure that they are bringing it in so that it can be changed. Hi, welcome if you've just joined. Okay, so here are some measures that we are have put in place to keep the children safe. So before, and enter, before entering and leaving the building, um, the children wash their hands. So when they arrive to school, there's a wash station where they wash their hands and before leaving, they wash their hands also. Um, in school, the children are in a class bubble. So this is our bubble. They only move around the children and the staff within the bubbles. They still work with partners who they're sitting next to they have their own pencil case with stationery that they need for the day. So they have everything they need within that pencil case. Any shared resources like science equipment, library books, art equipment will be quarantined for 72 hours after use in, love with, in line with government guidelines. So for example, today the children bought their books back to be changed. So those books that they've brought back will be quarantined for 72 hours before other children can take them home. Children also have play zones in the playground, which means that they stay in their bubble and they minimize contact with children in other bubbles. And we encourage children to make the right choice. We have hubs, we have four hubs. We have world science, active science, creative voice, and, and enterprise. Each child is a member of one of the four hubs and each hub promotes a subject specialism and they create a sense of camaraderie and competition across the school curriculum. Students can receive one or two hub points for different reasons, like demonstrating outstanding commitment to their learning, using their initiative, displaying kindness to others, and working hard on a personalized target. Um, as well as that, they have tokens which are given, which they can take and put in a, a, um, a a container so we can keep track of the points that they've been given which is here on my next slide I'm just going to pause a second because again my internet has gone down can you just wave if you can still hear me and I'm not cutting up thank you so this year again they have um, as I said they have a token so here we go and that's token is placed in the key stage one and the key stage two playground. There, we do have high expectations, which are important here at HGA, and children are given lots of opportunities to make the right choice. If a child's behavior does fall below the expected level, they'll complete a reflection with a member of SLT before returning to class. For serious breaches of the behavior policy, students will attend the academy to R&R &R, based in the secondary building and the phone call home will, will be made to inform you of this, um, where you'll be required to collect your child from school and discuss what's, hap what's happened with a member of SLT. But that will not happen in year four. Um, we can both say that we have very well behaved children and we're very proud of them. Isn't that right? There you go. So how do we assess your child? This, your, student, your child will be assessed every two weeks to support their reading and, and every term in other subjects. You'll be given a report each term which will outline your child's progress and attainment in English and maths. We also endeavour to communicate with you during termly parents' evenings. These may look different due to the current situation and possibly be done virtually. So here's an outline of the maths foci for this term. As you can see, we are in week, we're in week three, um, but we had a specific unit for week one. So we're still on the place value unit. We're going to cover addition and subtraction, multiplication and division, time, fractions, and problem solving. Everything that we cover will be building on previous learning. Welcome if you've just joined us. So the class, the text that we're covering this term, um, this, this half term, we are looking at the Orchard, Orchard Book of Greek Myths. So we've covered a few stories in there, which the children are really enjoying. And then 
In the second half of this term, we're going to be looking at Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which I'm really excited about. In the spring term, we're going to be looking at the Thieves of Oste Ostia, and then a non-fiction text, which is the story of Emperor Claudius, Romulus and Remus and Boudicca. And then in the summer term, we're looking at the Iron Man and the fastest boy in the world. So how can you support your child at home? You can listen to your child read and ask them about the accelerated reader book, as well as supporting them to read for 20 minutes each day. Reading books need to be brought to school each day. The spelling tests are each Thursday. Spellings can be found in the spelling booklet. I know um, we've been sending, sending home spelling sheets for the last few weeks, but the booklets will be coming home tomorrow. Homework books have been ordered and they are on their way. We'll let you know when they will be available. You can do some multiplication bingo. There's a link which I'll share and also help to build resilience by asking the children about their day and how they're finding school. And that's the end of my presentation. I shall now give you an opportunity to ask any questions that you may have. Hello. Hi. Hi, can you please, when you're asking a question, can you introduce yourself and whose parent you are? Okay, so I'm Miss Nicola, Nathan Pierce's mum in Akambodo. I can never say it. Um, will they be getting reading records? Because they haven't had one. No, not yet. <laughs> no. No. We keep a record in class of the books that the children are reading and taking home, but there won't be any reading records sent home. Oh, so not for us to sign no more. That, that won't exist, no? No. Okay. That's all you need to know. Okay. Is that your Hello. Hello. So is there another question? Yes. Uh, I don't know when we're going to have a face by face uh, talking about the kids' progress individually, like each one, we're going to sit down with you and have a word about how they are progressing, what they need to improve more, or if everything going to keep in the same way as a Zoom meeting in the groups or whatever. Okay, well, we're at this point in time, we're going along with government guidelines. So until things have changed and we are able to meet face to face, we will be doing things virtually. So the autumn term parent meetings, um, should, they haven't been scheduled yet, but when they are, we'll let you know. At this point in time, we're doing everything virtually. Does that answer your question? Okay, so uh, when we have the next one, going to be just uh, the parents you want and you just talk about each child, yeah? Yes, yes. Lovely, yeah. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi, this is Anthony's mom. Mm -hmm. Anthony's mom. Yes, hi, good to meet you. Yeah, same here. I just want to ask, um, you know, because they've not been given homework. So when would they start getting that? Okay, so the homework books are currently on order. So we're just waiting for the homework books to arrive in school. However, the children have been getting spelling homework. Okay. And okay. So, okay. That's all I just wanted. Um, I'm Hollis' mom. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, this is Hollis' mom. Hello. Hello. Hola, Dimitri. This is Hollis' mom. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Oh, I want to talk about the books they bring home for reading for two weeks. Yes. Is there a way of uh, getting another one if uh, probably a child is able to finish up within a week? Because I was asking my son and said it has to be it has to be full two weeks before they are able to change it. 
Is it possible to get another book if they're able to finish up? No. So what the thing is, the the books are being changed in a two week cycle. So what I do is I say to the children, make sure that the book you get is a book that can last you two weeks. If the child does read the book, then they should just keep on reading it so that when they take a quiz, they're quizzed on the book that they've read. So when they take the quiz, they're able to answer the questions to the best of their ability to get a hundred percent when they take the quiz. All right then. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. 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 You know what? Yeah. Someone's got their hand up. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, any more questions? Right. Questions? No. No questions. Hello. Yes, hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 I can hear you. Hello. Hi. Do you have a question? Can you hear me? This is Okie Smart. I can hear you. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. My question is... Hello? Try... Your service is a bit bad. You can hear me now? Yes. Okie Ola Olua Okay. Hello. Hi. Hello. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. This is okay, small. I'm just checking the homework on spelling that they bring home. Yes. They don't take it back from. They don't take it back from them. It's not math. I want it to be math so that I know how the how my son is doing. Oh, you want the spelling marked? Well, yes, I want the mark. Let's know how the child is doing. We don't. We are just in the dark. No, we don't know what yeah, the child is doing. Yeah. We don't know what he's yeah. doing. Okay, so we. I want it to be marked. I want. I want us to submit it and mark and get back to and we see what this child has called. Okay, that's fine. So what we can do is when we do the spelling test, we can send the children home with their marks. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. And secondly, yeah, I'm looking at the book. The book, the, the book that's been given to my son is too small. I want something more voluminous, okay. more bigger. Your child chooses the book. Your child chooses the book. But what we can do is um, just have a look at what he's choosing. He finish it in two minutes and he has to do it again. Okay, I'm just, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm going to just explain really quickly how. Sorry, I'm going to. Hello, guy. Okay, I'm going to just explain how the accelerated reader works. So when the children first came to school, they sat a test, okay, a reading test. So that gives them a level, okay? So if you look at the top right-hand side of your screen, you will see the ZPD, okay, that's zone of proximal, proximal development, okay? So once they take the test, it gives them a score. Now, when they're given the score, it gives the children the level of books that they can get, which means that they're reading books within their level, okay, according to the test that they've taken. So it's more of a comprehension test to test the children's understanding of what they've read. So for example, if the children got a 2.3, uh, between 2.3 and 4.5, then they can get a level two, a level three, or level four, or a level five book, okay? So when it comes to the children choosing their book, they have to choose books that is at their stage. So when it comes to your child choosing a book, 
if it's a book that's too easy, then they have to make the decision to choose a harder book within their range. Does that make sense? Oh, I've unmuted them. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yes? Hello. Uh, yeah. Hi. Can you hear me, please? I can hear you. Hey, good afternoon. Okay, uh, my name is Gloria. I'm lifted I just moved down to the United States in December. Oh, this is started to go here in February. Your phone's cracking oh. up. Why did you say this? Oh, can you hear me now? Why can't you wear something that you're wearing her phone? Yes? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, I said my name is Gloria. I'm Lily's mom. I don't want to know uh, the ability of my son right now because he started school here in the United Kingdom in February in this very school. So I don't know his ability right now. He's bringing home some books that he said he has already read them and everything is done in school. They don't test and all that stuff. So I don't really know who to talk to, to know how he's doing now. Okay, it's hard to hear you, but what are you saying that you want to talk to someone to find out how your son is doing with reading? Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Okay. Let's his name. What we can, I'll get your child's teacher to give you a call and discuss that with okay. you. Uh huh. Yes. Let me that, please. I'm just starting. You can see I'm still in uniform. I just logged into the zoo now, so I don't know what you have been discussing. I'm just in a short form summary. I don't know what has been going on. Okay, that's fine. She'll give you a call. Uh, okay. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm Sarah's mom. Hello, Sarah's mom. Sarah's son is, yeah, so it's nice knowing you anyway. You too. So, um, I just want to know how she's doing in class. She's doing fine. She'll be coping. Very well. She co she's coping very well. She's doing very fine. All right. Because I just want to know because I need to be coaching her at home. So, because I just want her to focus and concentrate on her study in class. So, no distraction, nothing. So, I don't want no one to distract her. Even when you are teaching. So, this is what we have been saying at home. So, I just want to confirm how she's doing. So, that's all. She's doing a very good job. Okay. Somebody has their hand up, but do you, do you still want to ask questions? I have all the questions you know. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. All right. Bye. So he's telling me that they are the to work for him to do. Yeah. 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 If you don't have any questions, please feel free to leave unless you feel like you can gain something from any of the questions. Ella dice que si quieren hacer algo otra pregunta, preguntale lo de la niña. Hello, Kola, what is that? Or is it mom? Do you have a question? Yes, please. I have a question. Is, sorry, my English is a little, okay? Yes. My daughter is amor, okay? Yeah. Uh, her question is, uh, Amor is in the, uh, in the test, is oh. to, to nivel. Uh, a minute Digamos. after four. Y entonces, please, o sea, usted díganle a la profesora lo que yo quiero decir. Venga, Amor. La profesora Amor es, la profesora Amor es. Y um, oh. amores y only to the nivel. Um, chain for three o in the in the honeys every day for the um, in the or in the in the honey. Oh, I don't understand. Here, just here at the corner here. 
think you have to ring the bell. You have to ring the bell. Yeah. And then, uh, uh -huh. right. Colorola is, Colorola is starting to speak now. What was your question? Uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much. Um, I hope Farhana is doing well, and uh, we need to know. Uh, will there be any after school club this time? Not at the moment, not at the moment. But when there are any starting up, then we'll let you know as soon as they start come about. Okay, okay. Thank you. All right, thank you. Oh, this is great. Okay. Okay, Christina. Hello, hi, my name is Christiane, I'm Tullis' mum. I was just going to ask if, um, hi, sorry. I was just going to ask if our child is missed school and then meant to change your book, how do we go about that? Okay, so if he's in tomorrow, we can arrange for him to change his book then, that's fine. Okay, then, okay, thank you very much. Whenever he comes in, we'll arrange for him to change his book. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Right. Any more questions? Okay. All right, then, everyone, thank you once again and have a fantastic evening. Okay.